Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 114, Empathizing with Self for a Change. This is also about having the courage to fix and heal ourselves and then connecting with those who consciously wish to co-create healing relationships. Now I say healing, not healthy, because we're always in a state of healing, I personally believe. It's something that has to be maintained continuously, much like keeping your body fed or clean. We've got to keep our emotional bodies nurtured continually. Remember, if you're an empath or codependent, you likely suffered emotional neglect in your childhood and you didn't learn this. Even if you tried to emotionally nurture yourself, maybe you were shamed or guilted for it. I talk about that early on in this book in chapter three. This training can be likened to a child who never learned proper eating or hygiene practices. So we're gonna talk about how to overcome this practice of emotional self-neglect because you might be powerless to fix their problem, but you're not powerless to fix your problem without them. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible and you can also get it in print at amazon.com and for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen well i've got the video version over at my etsy shop links for all of these are going to be found down below and if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism click here thank you all for your support